welcome to a new season of This is Public Broadcasting. I'm your host, Captain Rutledge. This month, PBS is broadcasting The Great American Read, narrowing down America's favorite novel from a list of 100 titles, including the likes of Gone with the Wind, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, The Great Gatsby, and Moby Dick, among others. If you haven't already, go visit the PBS website at this address and vote for your favorites on the list. Anyhow, PBS has always had a close relationship with promoting literacy, creating several literature programs for children, such as Reading Rainbow, Long Ago and Far Away, and Adventures from the Book of Virtues, not to mention the PBS Kids Bookworm Bunch. In my opinion, though, the one PBS program that got kids truly interested in literature was the one with the curious Jack Russell Terrier. This month, we take a look at Wishbone. Created by Rick Duffield and starring Soccer the Dog, Wishbone takes a look into the daily routine of Wishbone, a Jack Russell Terrier owned by Joe Talbot. When Wishbone isn't busy digging up the neighbor's garden or following Joe and his friends Sam and David around, he likes to look into works of classic literature, imagining himself as some of the characters within the stories. Hello! Hello! Huckleberry Finn! Come out if you're not afraid to face Tom Sawyer the Pirate! Sounds a little corny, I know, but somehow, it works. Each episode has an overarching plot featuring a few of the human characters that play into the featured story. For example, the Romeo and Juliet episode has Wishbone falling in love with a stray dog and sneaking away to be with her, while the Sleepy Hollow episode has Joe facing his fears in an old haunted house. Although originally created to show a dog's perspective of the human world, these scenes help tie the featured stories into a contemporary setting and show their relevance in modern times. Of course, the main focus is still Wishbone stories. <coughs> yes. Please, sir, I want some more. What? I want some more. Throughout 50 episodes, we see Wishbone take on the guise of several great characters in literature, from Sherlock Holmes to Sancho Panza, and Ichabod Crane to Robin Hood. For the most part, the featured stories stick very close to the source material, including keeping some sad or uncomfortable moments like Miss Havisham's fiery death in Great Expectations, or the fate of Sidney Carton in The Tale of Two Cities. Of course, that's not saying a few things weren't changed. Obviously, to fit into a 30-minute episode, several parts of the stories were trimmed down and a few plot points were glossed over. But in my opinion, this just makes a viewer more interested in these stories. Let's not forget the supporting actors for the story segments. Even though these people are in a children's program with a talking dog, they still give their all in their performances. And for being filmed in an old warehouse, the sets are pretty well made. Some aspects look very dated, but on the whole, it's not too bad. As for the stories adapted in the show, here is a little list of them. You can pause the video right now if you want to write them down. Ready? Here goes. Tom Sawyer, Oliver Twist, Romeo and Juliet, The Odyssey, Anansi, Cyrano de Bergeron, Count of Baskerville, Rip Van Winkle, Joan of Arc, Don Quixote, Faust, Ivanhoe, Hunchback of Notre Dame, Silas Mark, The Tale of Two Cities, Frankenstein, Journey to the Center of the Earth, Ali Baba, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, The Imaginary Invalid, The Purloined Letter, The Time Machine, Robin Hood, Pride and Prejudice, Prince and the Pauper, The Count of Monte Cristo, Treasure Island, David and Goliath, The Scandal in Bohemia, The Red Badge of Courage, The Tempest, The Three Musketeers, Hercules, Our Lady of Guadalupe, The Metamorphoses, Phantom of the Opera, Story of the Deathless Voice, The Inspector General, Legend of Sleepy Hollow, Henry IV Part I, The Courtship of Miles Standish, Great Expectations, The Black Arrow, The Moonstone, Journey to the West, Northanger Abbey, Aeneid, and Heart of the West. <sighs> Wishbone ran for two seasons on PBS from 1995 to 1998, then as reruns until 2001. During this time, the show won four Daytime Emmy Awards and a Peabody Award, along with inspiring a series of children's books. Wishbone proved to be a popular program back in the late 90s, but should it still hold up today? Taking the decline in national reading scores into account, I do believe that having more literature-related programming on PBS could help to fuel 
children's interest in reading and promote a lifelong love of books. Wishbone used a contemporary setting to tie in the classic literature with modern issues and with the changes going on today, this could work out for the better. Heck, you don't even have to use a dog for the stories. Maybe it could be a child's imagination or another pet. Speaking of which, I wonder Well, that wraps it up for today. Remember to vote for your favorites in The Great American Read and help support public television. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to help spread the channel. For This is Public Broadcasting, I'm Captain Rutledge. Good day. Ah, uh, wait a minute. I just need to put this in a safe place before we go. Okay, let's see here. Uh, that and that and that. All of you, stay. All right. <laughs>